Welcome to the Hollywood Halls of Magic's Monologue. I'm Magic, your curator of personal growth and the sage keeper of the keys to today's wisdom and tome of knowledge. Today's video, 10 Signs You're Being a Simp That Repels Women. But before embarking on the expedition through the vast collections of life's lessons and bad choices, demonstrate your eagerness with a thumbs up, subscribe, and smack that bell like a victory bell signaling success to become a patron of wisdom. So store your baggage of doubts, grab a ticket to success, and let's enjoy the ride together. Simping behavior is a major turnoff for women that will torpedo your dating and relationship success. Here are 10 signs you may be acting like a simp who lacks the self-confidence and backbone that attract wifeable women and what they desire. Number one. You're a serial people pleaser. Women are drawn to men who have a strong core sense of self and can enforce their own values and boundaries. If you constantly prioritize her wants over your own in an attempt to make her happy, it signals a lack of backbone that hollows out her initial attraction over time. By the way, an example of a belief system that may contribute to this is happy wife, happy life. Two, you seek endless validation. Neediness and fishing for constant compliments and reassurance reeks of insecurity. As research shows, women rate confidence as the most attractive trait in a partner. An Oklahoma State University study found that 89% of women place it as a decisive factor in choosing a mate. You'll struggle to keep her interested if you don't project an inner self-assured mentality. Three, you are a doormat, not to be confused with a guy named Matt. Letting a partner disrespect you, use you, or take advantage without pushing back ensures she'll lose any remaining attraction. As dating researcher Dr. Jeremy Nicholson states, behavioral indicators show a lack of ability to enforce boundaries comes across as weak, putting you in the friend zone in her eyes. Four, you're overly generous before deserving it. There's nothing wrong with being a generous partner to the right person who has earned it. But if you constantly spend lavishly on gifts, favors, meals, etc., before she's committed to you, it smacks of approval seeking behavior you're much better off investing that effort into becoming a better version of yourself. Five, you ignore the obvious red flags. Making constant justifications and rationalizing away yellow and red flag behavior because you're terrified of her leaving is a self-delusion that invariably leads to misery. As Rolo Tomasi states in The Rational Male, look for any behavior or attitude that works in opposing the relationship interests. Don't ignore red flags just to avoid rejecting someone you've become emotionally invested in. Stay with me as we are halfway through to number 10 which is the one of the biggest simp makers of them all. Meanwhile, take a second to hit the thumbs up button so more people can benefit from this video. Number six, 
you've completely lost your identity. If you've surrendered your entire secular life, hobbies, interests, friends, for your partner, you've fallen into a clingy codependency that strips away the precise qualities that attracted her in the first place and turns her off. Evolutionary psychology reveals women are turned off by levels of excessive dependency that hinted at poor genetic or genetic investing potential in ancestral times. Number seven, you're passive and conflict avoidant. Having boundaries, you can assertively communicate and enforce when you feel mistreated is vital. Constantly capitulating to keep the peace like a rug sweeping doormat deeply erodes her respect for you on a visceral level. Even if she can't articulate why, women want someone with a spine. Number eight, you try too hard to impress. Confident self-assuredness naturally draws romantic interest to you, not frantic scrambling for crumbs of attention and affection through excessive displays or fawning. As dating researcher Dr. Tracy Thomas states based on her research at the University of Toronto, women interpret overcalculated gestures as subtle type of manipulation or niceness born of ulterior motives. Number nine, I said number nine, thank you. You objectify her for looks. Putting a partner on a pedestal almost solely for physical appearance sets a completely unrealistic expectation that prevent you from seeing her as a multi-dimensional person. And no woman can live up to such distorted idealization. Build appreciation for her based upon her character and substance. Also, something else to consider. When you put a woman on a pedestal, she is looking down on you. Women intuitively want a man they can look up to. This, by the way, is in part the reason why women want six feet guys when they're five foot two. Get it? And finally, number 10, you have a scarcity mindset. If you cling with desperation to women who doesn't deserve your invested efforts as if she's the last available partner on earth, it creates a toxic dynamic where she layers on disrespect. Massachusetts University relationship study around 59% of men in unhappy relationships display attachment anxiety centered around fear of rejection and abandonment, which causes this scarcity mindset. So in summary, being a simp means willfully sacrificing your self-respect, individually and personal boundaries for a partner who hasn't earned such treatment. Retain your sense of self-worth and quality partners who will be mutually drawn to the grounded and faithfully available man you've cultivated yourself to be. Now that we've identified the problem areas, let's talk about solutions. It all boils down to one thing, self-respect. Know your worth, set boundaries, and don't be afraid to walk away from a situation that's not serving you. It's not about being rude or disrespectful. It's about valuing yourself enough to demand more from your relationships. If you're overweight, get your ass into the gym, get a personal trainer if you can afford it, and reshape your body. Next, learn how to box or take a martial art. 
there is a primal confidence in all humans that they respond to when they can sense you can handle yourself. Start looking around to do and learn things you've never considered. For example, take a ballroom dance class and learn how to dance. For those of you who haven't noticed, women love a man who can dance. Duh, be that guy. In the past, I've attended adult education cooking class. No, not for the food, I already know how to cook, but for the opportunity to meet women. Oh, by the way, I was the only man in the class of attractive women. Let's just say I dated for months off of that one encounter. Remember, don't confuse being a gentleman with weakness. It's about respect, not servitude. If you find yourself exhibiting any of these signs, take a step back, reassess, and make some changes. You deserve better, and trust me, there are women out there who will appreciate you once you put in the time and effort to be a better, more confident version of yourself. If you found value in this video, please show it by doing three things. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that bell, and share this video with at least two friends. If you didn't enjoy this video, well, I thank you for stopping by and please consider trying out a few others of my videos and see if you like those. I want your personal stories to share, or if you see an article online you think I should cover, send the whole story and the link just in case it's not there by the time I get to it. Email it to stories at magicsmonologue.com. This way, others can learn from your victories, joys, and defeats as we work to help each other and support each other to become better men. This is the best way to help grow this channel and support me. If you have a moment, stop by my YouTube community tab and vote on my surveys or subscribe to my Rumble, Twitter, Getter, and Gab. In doing so, you are certainly helping to educate other men and have the best revenge by living well. Until next time. Thank you for watching. Before you run off, check out these other videos and please give them a thumbs up, which helps me create more content.